Good morning. This is Kelo Land on the Go with all you need to know in news and weather as you start your Sunday. We also have your Born and Busters coming up, but first, our top story. Well, people in Kelloland are welcoming this weekend's heavy dose of rain during an otherwise dry summer, but we're getting too much of a good thing. Minnehaha County has been under a flash flood warning for much of the morning. This is what it looked like in downtown Sioux Falls around 4.30 this morning where the heavy rain filled curbsides with currents of water. Police say the downpours flooded some intersections in the city where vehicles stalled in the water. Police are reminding everyone not to drive through standing water. Fire Rescue also responded to a call of a power line on a tree overnight. Lincoln County authorities have arrested a driver who was reported to be pointing a gun at another vehicle on Interstate 29 over the weekend. It happened Friday night near the Harrisburg exit. Deputies pulled over the suspect near the Lennox exit. The Sheriff's Department says deputies found a black replica handgun inside his vehicle. The 33-year-old Yankton man is facing several charges, including aggravated assault, resisting arrest, DUI, and possession of a controlled substance. Authorities in the Black Hills are reminding people to be sure to carry plenty of water while they're outdoors. This comes after crews rescued a dehydrated hiker along a trail in Custer County Friday. The hiker was, was reported to be dizzy and unable to walk. Rescuers gave him water and he was able to walk to a waiting ambulance. Temperatures were around 90 degrees at the time. Officials say people feel the effects of dehydration quicker at higher elevations. People gathered for a walk in Sioux Falls Saturday to celebrate the lives of babies who have died shortly after their birth. The walk took place at Faywick Park and was organized by the Oakland Foundation, started four years ago when Jessica Remy lost her daughter Oakley unexpectedly. Remy and her family wanted to create a foundation for grieving parents through going through similar tragedies. We, in the last four years, have been in um, around 33 states and have been able to provide for around 500 families. Organizers say a walk like this helps parents know that they're not alone in their grief. A grand opening celebration made a big splash in the small town of Burke, South Dakota, Saturday. The community gathered to officially open a splash park called Lenny's Lily Pad. The family of Billy Sutton started the project in 2020 after the passing of their baby daughter, Lenny. Sutton is a former state uh, Senate minority leader in the South Dakota legislature, as well as the 2018 Democratic candidate for governor. The community raised nearly $300,000 to help make Lenny's Lily Pad the town's newest outdoor attraction. Let's get a first look at the forecast now with meteorologist Adam Rutt in the Storm Center. Good morning, Adam. Good morning, Perry, and good morning, everybody. We have been watching the rain gauge in South Dakota and Sioux Falls specifically, where we have been watching just deluge after deluge of rainfall come through the Sioux Falls area. In fact, we're talking about record setting rain today. Now going into this morning, the all time record for a one day rain total, regardless of time of year, was 4.59 inches on August 1st, 1975. As of 7 a.m. this morning, we were at nearly five and a quarter inches of rain at the airport, and we will likely add to that total before we are done. So this marks a new all-time record for one-day rain totals here in Sioux Falls. And the end result of that, well, you can see the falls really full in Falls Park. 64 northeasterly breeze at 11 miles per hour. It is going to be a cool day today and a dreary one at times with rain showers and the occasional thunderstorm moving through portions of Kelo Land, including up toward Aberdeen and Redfield this morning, Mulbridge, Pier, northwestern South Dakota, while we get a small break to the southeast. I don't think we're quite done with rain in Sioux Falls quite yet. So any chance that we get to catch our breath will be a good one, considering the rainfall estimates we've seen anywhere from five to seven and a half inches of rain in that flashing green box, which indicates a flash flood warning for southeastern Minnehaha and southwestern Rock counties until 9 a.m. This includes Sioux Falls and Brandon. We do have dry weather to talk about. We'll talk about that in your extended forecast. All right. Thank you very much, Adam. Well, since the pandemic hit, there's been a growing shift to working remote, opening up the possibility of also living remote. Van life is trending across the country as people look to escape cities and the rising cost of rent by building out their own camper vans. But the increased demand is creating a major jump in price along with limited availability. How van life is impacting the market for cargo vans in tonight's Eye on Kelloland, be sure to watch tonight at 10. 
It's another day of fun at the fair during the Sioux Empire Fair in Sioux Falls. Today's activities at the WH Lion Fairgrounds include a, a Pioneer Lane Church service at 9 o'clock, carnival rides open at noon, a kid's pedal pull at 1 o'clock, and 38 special with American Scarecrows performing in the grandstand at 8 p.m. Admission to the fair is $10 for adults, $5 for children, and free for ages 5 and under. Musical performances at the Sturgis Motorcycle Rally today include Arcana Kings, Matt Ferris, Logan Mize, Slaughter, and Uncle Cracker. The Sioux, uh, Sioux River Folk Festival wraps up today at Newton Hill State Park near Canton. Performances include Wake Up Saved at 11 o'clock, the Fox Gloves at noon, followed by the Two Tracks at 1. Admission is $10. American Legion Post 15 in Sioux Falls is hosting an all-you-can-eat pancake breakfast. Serving time goes from 8.30 to noon at the South Dakota Military Heritage Alliance. The cost is $7, $2 for children. The breakfast also includes a bake sale. And the Madison Car Show features classic vehicles on display at the historic Prairie Village from 11 to 4. Admission is $5 for adults, $2 for children, and free for ages 5 and under. Adam? Well, we do have other things to talk about than just the rain. While that has certainly been a big headline today, it's also going to be cool with cloud cover and the northeasterly breeze in place. Temperatures this morning starting in the 50s and 60s with, again, a lot of rain, especially in southeastern Killowin. There is that northeasterly breeze, which will remain in place over the course of your day. With satellite and radar still showing that rain, like I mentioned, gradually getting on out of here. We've seen over five inches of rain already at the airport in Sioux Falls. That's an all-time record for one day. But this break, as all this moves into Minnesota, right along the I-90 corridor, is unfortunately going to be temporary. You know, those out to the west, more scattered showers and thunderstorms still trying to develop. That will move eastward, so we are not quite done yet. That's the key word. There's 2 p.m. on Futurecast. You can see those showers and the occasional thunderstorm hanging tough for a little while longer. But as we head to the end of the day and the overnight time frame, we finally dry out and clear out to the southeast. That's going to set the stage for a rather comfortable night. Lows across Kellowind easily in the low to mid 50s tonight. So if you're able to clear out early, give your air conditioner a break. Let the breeze do the work tonight. In fact, much of the extended outlook is going to be like what we see here on Futurecast for Monday and Tuesday. Pretty quiet, not a whole lot of anything going on. But on the thermometer, we start off cool, only to warm up as we head into the end of the week. It's going to be a gradual warm up. I don't think we jump from the 70s to 100 over the span of 24 hours. But we do start in the 70s and get into the 80s, then the 90s. Not the upper 90s for everybody, but in general, 90s do come back by the end of the week and into next weekend. Today, though, like I said, cool and dreary. Scattered showers and a couple of thunderstorms are possible. Highs will be in the 70s with overnight low temperatures falling into the 50s as we gradually dry out and clear out. Monday, plenty of sunshine. Highs in the 70s to low 80s East River, mid to upper 80s out west. With the rest of your seven day forecast beyond today featuring mainly dry weather and again that warm up that will take us into the weekend. Have a great day, everybody. Stay safe if you must travel this morning into the Sioux Falls area. For more on your local news, weather, and sports, you can always head on over to Kelloland.com.